This episode of Taz I Help is brought to you by Tokyo Flash Japan. What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite iPhone apps that I've been using lately. Let's get into it. So the first app we're going to take a look at is called TimeHop. TimeHop is an app that allows you to see what you're doing on your social networks in previous years on the same day of the year. You can connect Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Flickr, and I think even a couple more to it. So if I look at my TimeHop for today, a year ago I posted a link to my daily vlog where I just got back from traveling. I posted a text SpongeBob, which I think that was a tweet, uh, and then I also posted uh, about getting ready to go to CES and maybe wanting to move uh, to California. I like this app because you can set a notification uh, and just check it like once a day and just kind of see what you're doing in the previous years on your social networks. And it's funny because I'm pretty much doing the same thing I'm doing right now that I was doing a year ago. Vlog, getting ready for CES, and I wouldn't mind moving to California. Except for the Spongebob thing. I don't know where that came from. The next app we're going to look at is called YouTube Capture uh, for you YouTube creators out there. It is a free app and basically it just allows you to upload videos to YouTube directly from your phone. You can either record a video directly in the app to upload or you can just select one uh, from your camera roll. Once you have the video selected, you can add the titles, you can add stabilization, color correction, music, uh, as well as you can even trim the clip in the app. So pretty much it's just an app that allows you to upload videos directly to YouTube. It could be a little bit better. Uh, I could give you more statistics and stuff on your videos as well as being able to change videos that are already uploaded uh, as well as the ability to upload in 1080p which they don't have that option yet uh, but they should. Next up is an app you guys may have already heard of called Snapchat but I really like the concept of the app so people out there that don't know about it I wanted to make sure you do. Snapchat allows you to send pictures and videos uh, to other Snapchat users but they can only open these pictures and videos for a few seconds. And that's what makes the app unique. It's basically like sending a picture or video message to somebody, but it just disappears and they can never look at it again. And then they can reply back to you and the same thing happens. The app is kind of buggy though, so they could do some improvements on it, uh, as well as if you're somebody like me who has a lot of snaps, uh, you can't really like reply to people easily because you forget who just sent you a message and you're wanting to reply back to because there's no way to just tap on it and reply right back. You have to actually uh, type in the username or just select it through your friends list. So there's a few things they could do to make it better, but it's pretty cool. So that's about it. The app is pretty simple uh, and I just really like the concept of it. So if you haven't checked it out, uh, check out Snapchat and if you want to, Snapchat me. Time off. But there is an alternative to Snapchat called Facebook Poke, but it is Facebook, which I'm kind of tired of Facebook. I don't know about you guys, uh, so I prefer to use Snapchat. But it's basically just Snapchat, except not as buggy uh, and works a little bit better and there's a few more features in it. So you can check out whichever one you want. Uh, I just personally prefer Snapchat because I don't like Facebook. The next app we're going to look at is called Fonto. Fonto is a free app which allows you to add text over images. 